Yo, what is going on guys? Today's video is going to be a complete breakdown of how I train any new mechanic. And as you've seen over the past few months, I've been training a lot. If you've looked into learning any new mechanic and can't quite figure out the best way to go about it, stick around and I'll run you through the routine that has helped me go through the numerous 100 hour videos and has helped me go from a champ one player at the start of the year to sitting around 1600 MMR in twos and threes. The improvement has not been easy, but a way to make it incredibly easier for yourself to rank up is with my all new rules to ranking up course over on Gamers Ready. Now I am so so excited to finally be able to officially announce this. This course literally takes you by the hand from bronze all the way up until that grand champ level and focuses on everything you need to do to get through each rank. I've made this course in partnership with Gamers Ready and it's not just a series of videos. It's a whole fun interactive course with quizzes, clips, graphics, and it'll even track your progress as you make your way through the course. Not only that, but with it being my course, I wanted to give back a little to you guys. So the first 100 people to buy the course will get 50% off when they use the code THANAVIC50, but you can just use the code THANAVIC at any time to get 20% off. Please head to the link in the description or the link on the comment that is pinned and let me know what you think of it. So as this is a shorter video, and as a way of explaining my way through this routine, I'm going to be using a new mechanic that I've been learning this month, which is the Ceiling Musty Double Tap. Now around a week ago, I had no idea how to even go about starting this. I didn't have the movement down in my head and I was completely lost. So step one to learning any new mechanic is to go out and find some videos or a montage and just watch other people do it. Many people are visual learners like myself, and so having something to base what you want the end result to look like can really help you to shape your technique during the routine. So my go-to is watching Evampel, who just hit 100,000 subs, so a big congratulations to him. But you should try to find someone you enjoy watching and that can do the kind of stuff you want to learn. Then you head into free play. Now, this is where the fun begins. Freeplay is obviously the best place to practice any new mechanics, and this is where I spend the majority of my time during the 100 hour videos. The first thing to do is focus on the setup. For every single aerial mechanic, the setup is by far the most important aspect of the whole thing. So that's where you should be putting a lot of the time into. While working on this mechanic, I would go up the wall at different speeds, wait for the ball to get to different parts of the wall before I would hit it, I would try jumping to the ceiling and then driving to the ceiling. Essentially, you want to go through the setup portion trying everything that you can. The more you can test different things and different ways to get to the same place, the faster you can figure out which is the most optimal. Now, for this mechanic, I had a hard time getting used to the amount of power I had to use and judging the speed of my car, but the more I failed, the more I figured it out. Unfortunately, this is one of those things that people need to put time into learning. With every mechanic comes the factors that you need to learn the muscle memory for. A quick way I can recommend learning the sweet spot or the muscle memory is to do both extremes. Hit the ball really hard and try hitting it really soft. Then take a little away from each and work your way closer to a middle ground. You will start to realize where you need to hit it and around how hard. This is a really really big factor in learning mechanics so please do not skip over this part. In fact, I would say you need to take more time in learning the setup over anything else. Once you get to the point where you think you're good, go back and compare to one of the videos you watched to see if there are still small things you can improve. Or record yourself using something like GIF Your Game or something and just watch over it. Looking over your own setup a few times can give you a good idea where you can improve and honestly doing whatever you can to improve the setup portion of any mechanic is key. But let's say you're fine with the setup. You've learned how to get there from different positions in case the best one isn't a position you can get into at that time and you've learned the best one which you're comfortable with. What now? A lot of people go straight into trying to land the shot and yeah you can do that, like that's fine. But the way I go about it from here is learning which way to land on the roof first. With this shot you need to hit the roof pretty early and pretty hard in order to get back down behind the ball before it falls too low. You can also get to the roof in a clean motion or you can add some spins. Now I naturally spin to the roof to angle my car towards the ball, but you can definitely do this by just leaning back and hitting the roof cleanly. A big thing to focus on with roof based mechanics is the landing. So for any of you looking to implement this mechanic learning routine with a ceiling based shot, take a look at how you land. If your car is facing towards the ball and will connect cleanly with the roof, then you'll be fine. However, if your car isn't going to land cleanly on the roof or if it's going to land sideways, you should hold power slide when you land. 
This is going to keep the impact very smooth and will have you slide off the roof without losing momentum. Use this for every ceiling based mechanic and you'll be fine. Now then, this is the best part. Getting the shot. So this took me a few hours over two days to finally hit once I was going for it. But the best way once again is to get a clip where someone hits the shot you want really cleanly. Then compare as often as you can. The big thing with some of these harder mechanics is that you'll feel like everything is right, but it can be such small flaws in your movement that put the whole thing out. You want to be as simple as you can when starting and then work your way up. With this one, I tried to just get the musty flick. I did the same thing over and over before comparing and realizing that I was either too close or too far away to actually hit the shot. So changing this up, I actually had someone on stream tell me that it would be a little easier if I touch the ball with the front of my car first and then move into the musty. Once you hit the ceiling, go down to the ball and air dribble, then backflip after you tap it once. Once you- ceiling, go, tap it once. Wait, he's onto something, lads. <laughs> this brings me to my next point. Having someone else watch over and give you some advice can really help you in the long run with things you might not even know you don't know, if that makes sense. I'm lucky enough to have people on stream to give me advice, but if you guys know any players that are mechanically gifted or can do the kind of things you want to learn, it's worth asking them to look over your shot and see where you might be making mistakes. Even small things like making that touch beforehand can change the shot completely and help put you in a much better position moving forward. Lastly, we have the follow through. Now, I eventually learned how to do the shot without the touch as I got the timing down, but the follow through can be pretty difficult depending on the mechanic. With some, it's just about flicking, whereas with something like a double touch, you need to flick and then instantly reposition. So this is something that takes a lot of time to get down, but once you get that initial scoop off that musty flick, your car also jolts into the air a little bit. Once you get to that position, you have to learn to start predicting where you'll need to go. And from there, you're just going to have a lot of fun trying the shot. This part differs for each mechanic, obviously. With breezy flicks, you can either hit them straight away or learn to delay them. With flip resets, you can hold them off as long as you need, but the main thing you need to remember while putting the finishing touches on each mechanic is to get creative. Learning new mechanics is fun, but it can be a very draining process. I am fortunate enough that I have people watching me and giving me small tips here and there, so my progress has been pretty quick. But even still, I train the same shots every day. A big part of learning is consistency, and so doing what you can to train and compare your shots to iron out those flaws are really going to help you in the long term. But above all, even when things get tiring and the shot might be draining to you, make sure to keep yourself creative as it's going to give you different ways to open up the same shot. So just going over again very quickly, research the shot, practice the setup for a while, compare the setup, move into the second phase, whether it be the movement to the ceiling or off the wall, then compare and focus on the setup and movement together. Then, if there's another step, like the musty in this case, you want to break that down bit by bit to find the best way of performing it as well. And then, you want to work that with the final execution of the shot and start getting creative. Seems like a simple enough process, yet people often just try to go 0 to 100 and learn it all at once. If you want to learn any shot quickly and consistently, break it down and then build it back up to make a final shot. Compare and refine. It only took me a few hours over two days, but I was able to get this shot down pretty quickly and can now hit it pretty consistently. That's the whole routine for this video. It's not complicated at all really, and I just thought I'd give you guys an insight and a way to work through any mechanic you might be struggling with, and also show you guys the routine that I use that has proof that it works. All of my socials are linked in the description, as well as my new course, The Rules to Ranking Up, which I strongly, strongly suggest you check out. Anyway, that's all from me. I'll see you next time.